YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, wow, what, what a game. What a game. Um, Chargers end up inching it out, man. They won by the hair of their chinny chin chin. Um, that game was crazy. It was a really good one. Uh, crazy how it ended. Uh, with Real quick, because let's just be straight up. Still, still has got cheated out of this one bad, man. I'm a Ravens fan. And I'm, I'm not opposed to the Steelers winning, of course, but uh, to see it go down like that, it was like, uh, and I know it's going to be a lot of Ravens fans that say, oh, well, I don't care. I don't like when games are decided by officials, and I know it's a business and whatnot, but I, I, I don't like when games are decided by really bad play calling. And in this game, it was really, I mean, not play calling, really bad officiating, excuse me. Um... Now for the first off, for the first, uh, at the end of the game, because I didn't see it, maybe I might have missed something. But on the first field goal, the initial field goal, I didn't see an offsides. I didn't see an offsides. Even when they showed the replay, it looked like Joe Hayden jumped perfectly. But maybe I missed something. On the second one, offsides for sure. Offsides for sure. And on the third one, um, the third one was offsides for. Uh, ooh, was that one offsides too? I don't, did they even show the replay for that one? I don't know, but um, what a game. Had this been a game of Madden, then they would have got kicked for grieving. They would have got kicked for grieving. But, yeah, like I said, this it's weird, man. The Chargers, and then earlier with the false starts, like two, two blatant false starts, man. Two blatant ones. Blatant false starts, clear as day. Easy calls, easy calls, but somebody tweeted me earlier, said the refs must have been Ravens fans tonight, and I think they were, because boy, Steelers got okie doped. They got okie doped, straight up. They got okie doped. Um, boy, wow. That was, that was wild, man. I know Chargers fans not complaining at all. So, this is, um... And I know you can't really, you can't play, you can't do anything but play who's, in, who's on your schedule. That's the only thing you can do. You can only play who's on your schedule. I know a lot of people uh, talk about the Chargers being a little bit overrated because they haven't really played anybody. Um, but this was their, and they lost to the Chiefs. That was one of the only good teams that they played, the teams with a good record. They lost to the Chiefs. Uh, they lost to the Broncos. And I think, didn't they play the Chiefs twice? I forgot who the other team they, they lost to. But either way, um, they, I don't, well, I don't think they deserved it or earned it. They got the victory over the Steelers. Got the victory over them. If I was a Steelers fan, boy, I would, I would be heated. 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 But at the same time, you know that your team can beat the Chargers. You know your team can beat the Chargers. So, could, wouldn't even sweat it. Now, um, some of the positives from this game, well, I guess negatives for one team and positives for one, Derwin James. Oh, God. This was, the, this was, I haven't really got to see many Chargers games, but really to see it in depth like this, to really sit down and watch and see how all over the field this guy is, love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, I know a lot of Ravens fans wish we would have got Calvin Ridley, wish we would have got... Um, uh, oh, DJ Moore, wish we would have got this guy, that guy, that guy. But a lot of Ravens fans also wish you would have got Derwin James. And this is one of those picks where I could say, oh, yeah, I agree with you. I agree. Because this guy, he can hit. He got a nose for that ball. Um, he is a playmaker. I watched this guy in coverage several times tonight. He closes in on that ball. He gets his hand in there, knocks it away. Uh, he is uptight with the, uh, he, he plays tight, man. Plays tight defense. Um, he, on that Antonio Brown play right before halftime, when Antonio Brown caught it, but Derwin James, boom. He came, gave him that blow, and Antonio, Antonio Brown only got one foot in. Um, on the interception, the, the Ben Roethlisberger, the little flimsy pass, I don't know what that was. It looked like he was like, whoo. It looked like that's the noise that he made when he threw that pass. Whoo. And I'm like, man, what kind of what kind of pass was that, man? Um, but Derwin J and again in pass coverage, like I said, uh, he was in the backfield. The, the guy's a playmaker, man. 
He's a playmaker. And Chargers got a nice one, man. They got a nice one. So shout out to Derwin James, man. Um, Phillip Rivers, of course. And, and again, I mean, minus the, uh, the false starts. But minus the false starts. Oh, Phillip Rivers, too. Phillip Rivers. He did his thing. He continues to do it. Kenyon Allen. Somebody who, um, when you're talking about the top 10, he's definitely in there. But he don't get talked about enough. He don't get talked about enough. He does not get talked about enough when you're talking about some of the better wide receivers in the league, man. Um, and Keenan Allen, when he's been healthy, he's been beasting, man. And it ain't nothing new. It ain't nothing new. Oh, it was another call, too. Uh, another call that I didn't see at first. But then my boy uh, Billy, GXT Billy, he showed me the replay of the punt return for a touchdown. Is it is his name Justin King? What's his I forgot. Whoever whatever King's name is. But the punt return that he got for a touchdown, there was blocking the back. As it was it was like right after he caught the ball. It was blocking the back. Um and if, when, live I didn't see it. Cuz we got as we still got a bunch of people over here right now cuz y'all can hit him in the background, I'm sure. But um live I didn't see it, but uh, when I saw the replay I said, "Whoa, okay. Wow. They they didn't so the, them refs were, they, boy, they were against Pittsburgh tonight, man. There, there is no denying that. I don't care who you a fan of, what team you a fan of. You can tell, man. They had it out for Pitt, Pittsburgh tonight, man. Straight up. Straight up. Um, but Pittsburgh, they, they almost, almost, almost. It, it, it has to be very demoralizing for a team when you see these these terrible, these missed calls, bad calls, all that stuff, it has to be demoralizing. Um, and it's got to be like, oh, like, it's like, it's, it's like it can be so frustrating. Like, you, it, that it's, it's where you feel like you can't even do anything right. Because you feel like you, you're putting your best out there. You're doing everything you can possibly do, but it's still not good enough. And it's still not good enough. And it's like, oh, man, like, come on, man. I'm sure that's, that's what they were feeling tonight. Because that was bad, man. That was really bad. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how it goes. How it goes moving forward for both of these teams. Um, mm, mm, mm. That was just wild, man. Uh, but yeah, Philip Rivers still a beast. Roethlisberger still be making stuff happen. Um, James Conner, depending on how, I don't think his injury is going to be serious. I know he was limping, but he was limping on his own. Um, maybe his ankle's a little bit sore, something like that. I don't think it'll be anything long term, um, which is good for Pittsburgh, obviously, because uh, he's been such a big part of their team. Uh, Antonio Brown, still a beast, of course. Um, I don't know how. Was it the touchdown right before? Yeah, it was right before halftime. I don't know how Chargers gave that up. They had two guys on Antonio Brown, but this dude ran up and around. He ran up and around, and when he was around, he was wide open. He was wide open. Ben Roethlisberger threw him a perfect pass in the back of the end zone. <whistles> touchdown. Keenan Allen uh, on that play, the, the touchdown, after, it was after halftime. It was in the third quarter where both the Steelers defenders, they, they, they should have been a pick. And it got tipped up in the air and both of the Steelers defenders went boom. Crashed right into each other. And Keenan Allen said, oh, oh, it, it's a ball right here. You know what? Let me go get that. Touchdown. Now Travis Benjamin. That touchdown, the touchdown that shouldn't have been a touchdown, um, that was a perfect pass by Phillip Rivers, even though his, his offensive lineman got a head start on blocking, since that should have been a false start. And it's weird because uh, with Phillip Rivers, he um, that's the second time where, because the first one happened against the Browns, where Phillip Rivers, or where the offensive line got a false start, but the play still continued, and they ended up throwing a touchdown on a play. So, and these, it's, oh, it's so bad, man. It's, it's so bad. Like how? Don't you have officials that, that are looking at every part of the play? That's why you got like 50, how you have 50 officials on the field, but they still can't get it right? Maybe it's because they don't want to get it right. I don't know, man. But it's, oh, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. See, I, and again, it's like, it's, it's frustrating for me. It's frustrating for me. And I, I'm a Ravens fan, but it, it's frustrating for me just seeing stuff like that. And again, because y'all know me, 
I'm a, I'm a Ravens fan big time, but I call it straight up, man. I call it straight up, man. Even if, had that been Ravens getting those bad calls, whether it would be for them or against them, we still call it out, man. We'll still call it out. I obviously want my team to win all the time, but at the same time, hey, if, if, if there's some trash calls, I'm going to still speak on them and be straight up. Y'all already know that, though, man. So that's why this, even though the Steelers lost, it's, it's like, it's still frustrating for me just how that game was, man. Like, if, if, if they're going to lose, just let them lose on their own, man. Don't, don't do that, man. Don't do it like how they did it. But anyway, it is what it is, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate y'all watching. Um, Chargers fans, congrats on a, on a win. This win got a big asterisk on it, man. Uh, Steelers fans, I, I wouldn't even trip, even though this, this win is, I mean, this loss is very, very big because it, um, it affects everything. Now the Ravens are half a game behind the Steelers in the division. In the division. I know Steelers fans will be Chiefs fans next week because we got the Chiefs. I don't, oh, I got to see who Steelers got because I do not remember. I got to check their schedule, but we getting there, man. We're just a few weeks left. Just a few weeks left. But anyway, team, keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. I see y'all. I love y'all. And I'm out, man. Y'all have a good night.